Good morning guys and welcome to today's video where I'm doing part 4 series for GCC Trigonometry for AQA, Edexcel, OCR, IGC and the WJEC specification. Okay, and, and this was also, uh, also relevant here yeah, for the CIE uh, <clears throat> Example, so, so it is uh, it is appropriate for all examples here for GCC level uh, maths, right, guys? This video was recorded on the twenty fifth of um, of February, sorry, twenty twenty one. So not one actually should be two there, not a one. Okay, um, right, guys. So in today's video, so it is going to be two further examples. So example one, guys, we are asked to work out what theta is. Now we've got an angle and uh, and we've got two sides. So step one, guys, is always label your side. So label your sides first, guys. So we've got an opposite and 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 and, and we've got a uh, adjacent. So looking here, guys, I'm going to be using tan. So tan of my angle is opposite over the adjacent. So opposite is one, adjacent is five. So tan theta is opposite of adjacent. So tan theta is one over five. To work out theta, it is going to be inverse tan. So the opposite of doing tan of a, of, of, uh, of an angle is to do the inverse tan or um for those for, for, for those of you studying A level maths, uh, it, 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 it might be written as arc sine uh, arc tan of this. Okay, so it's tan inverse of one over five. Put it into your calculator, and then I get um, eleven point three one degrees to two dp. Okay, so that's my answer for example one, guys. Right, guys. Example number two. Again, so it is a right angle triangle here. I got an angle. I've been asked to work out what x is, which is the hypotenuse, and, and I've got an opposite, and, and I've yeah, I've, I've, I've got an adjacent which I'm not giving any info about. So I can't use a uh, cos or tan, so it has to be sine. So sine of my angle is opposite over the adjacent. Sine of 60 equals 15 over x. Rearrange it, so times up by x and divide by sine 60, I get x equals 15 divided by sine 60, which is 30. Because sine 60 it is a half, guys, yeah. So 15 divided by half uh, is the same as times by 2, so my answer is going to be 30. Okay, so that are um so those are the two examples for trig. So, so these ones it is so this one was to work out an angle and that one was to work out a length. So the length just requires rearranging to, to work out what the hypotenuse is. And lastly, guys, the hypotenuse, um so the answer seems correct to me because the answer has to be bigger than 15. We don't know obviously what this side is, but the hypotenuse by definition is always the longest side of my triangle. Therefore, the answer has to be bigger than 15 it, it can't be equal to you. so 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 this answer seems reasonable to me okay so that so the hypotenuse is always the longest length of the right angle triangle and we can use pythagoras which i'm going to come on to you uh, uh, in, in in the next set of videos for working out the length okay so pythagoras is used to work out the length trigonometry is used to work out the angle and or the length okay, of, 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 of a right angle triangle. But it's used predominantly for working out angles. Okay, and then I've used soccer toe, guys. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, and then tan is opposite over adjacent. Okay, so make sure that you are happy with this, guys, and, and learn these formulas for any yeah, uh, exams or, or, or tests that you might sit. Okay, right guys, if you found this video useful, please drop a like, please subscribe, please enable notifications by pressing the bell icon so you don't miss out on further uploads. Um, the, there is going to be a part five to this video actually for, for the trig, and then I'm going to move on to another topic here, uh, another topic uh, after these uh, videos. So I, uh, I hope you find it useful guys, thank you so much for watching, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow for part five guys. Take care now, and happy Thursday.